So um, I wanted to show you the setup that I do for my murals. I'm on location, which is for the dog kennels, and you can see behind me, I've already done the drawing out, and I've got like this green, and it's going to go all around. Um, but that's more the mural and the drawing of it. I wanted to show you some of the equipment that I bring with me. Okay, so this is my toolbox, and in my toolbox I've got a couple of plastic trays. Um, these trays were from the supermarket. They were holding uh, pop noodles or something like that. And uh, they're great little plastic palettes that I can use to mix up colours. I could pick um, the main base colour, add like a whiter colour and a black colour and something else. So they're great uh, little nooks and trays. And then when I'm finished, I bin them. Um, outside, I use um, duct tape. I have some frog tape and then these are some of the acrylics now and some of my big brushes. These round brushes are fabulous for making some clouds um, and then I have your normal paint brushes but these are all my acrylics. Oh here we go, there's one of my paint brushes, um, usually one inch, two inch, well depends, depends the area. These are all tester pots and um, they're all Vasper and I tend to get a matte finish because then I can put my acrylics on top. This is the selection of the colours that I'm going to be using for this mural here. A plastic bag full of, for rubbish, for tissues, some kitchen tile, another tray that I could use mixing, some of the brushes for the finer work. Um, they're old, that's okay, you know. Um, the emulsion paints are very hard on brushes. I go through a lot of brushes. This is information from the client. This is in my reference photos. And um, I've got some of them that are colored. So, and then this is a little table, it's a sweet fold up table. It's spare pair of glasses because at the end of the day, my eyes get really tired. And when you jump back and forward from the mural, um, I've realised that sometimes I just need so super glasses just to hone in on the detail. I have two little buckets and um, fill them up water and that's just usually to leave them there. And then I've got my stand with me, although I don't normally bring it, and loads of snacks. Buy three different drinks, um, some nuts and fruit and stuff to keep me going. Lots of sugar. Alright, so that's it. So let me tell you about this mural. Um, it's an indoor dog kennel. There's dogs, 10 dogs all the way around and the green strip is part of their logo and I just wanted to use it to incorporate all the walls around. It's gonna be bright, it's gonna be colorful and playful because this is a play area for dogs.